Well, it's been a, a long time coming with, um, you know, the slipway cradle had to get repaired and a bunch of other things, but finally, we're gonna haul her out tomorrow. She'll get uh, a couple of coats of antifoul and we're gonna pull the bowsprit off and put a brand new E on, so very exciting times. And get a uh, current out of water survey but done. The big thing is, yeah, get rid of the anchor, get rid of that stainless the platform and then pull the bowsprit off and put the new one on bit of a job but i wanted to do it here on the slip cradle so that if we have any dramas with the mast it's not going to fall down on trev's boat or jeff's boat it's just going to uh, you know, come down around here but it, it shouldn't come off i'm just going to use the halyards to uh, act as the front forestay and uh so we'll take the forestay and the the other staysail off and um, just use some halyards to take up that strain. There's no load on it, so it should be all right. All right, better get to work. Okay, so I've got most of the bolts out. A lot of the stainless ones are just snapping um, all the way around. And I've just got to do these two over here. And the way you get them out is you've got to take the uh, fair lead out and then there's a really long bolt it goes all the way down with a nut on it so I thought they'd just be coach screws into the teak but they're not they go right through and then you've got to come back up through there so we'll do that on the other side and then this will be right to remove and we'll start on the platform not much fun getting that platform off because it's got bolts going through every I don't know every foot um, I don't think I'll be doing that just for a platform. But anyway, uh, that's that's the rotten old bowsprit ready to be removed now. We've got rid of all the paraphernalia. And we're, um, I think Neil's coming back tomorrow, which will mean we can get into it. And uh, I think if all goes well, a matter of just easing off all the stays and Releasing that Kranzian from the front and undoing the bolts, slide that back that way, put the other one in, push it forward, use those two four stays to um, hold up the mast, and Bob's your uncle. So the day has come to do the bowsprit. You can see we've already taken a fair bit off. We're just running this main stay, four stay down to the ground. Neil's just putting a big trucky hitch in it to take up some of the load of the, the mast. We've also got two halyards holding the mast because we still have to undo this four stay, uh, the staysail stay. Um, you can see here I butchered that because I couldn't get the last rod out so I actually had to get rid of the wood to lift the platform. That one was rotted and it all fell away and you can see the rot that was the cause of the, the reasoning behind replacing the bowsprit. So, all things going well, we'll just undo these bolts, undo those three, and this should just lift away, we'll just have to come up with a way to manoeuvre it back onto the boat, out of the way, and then put the other one in place and hopefully the Kranzian will fit nicely on it and we'll just start installing it straight away. Alright, we'll stay and I'm just holding it. Uh, with a 14 mil spanner on this. The other one's a, I think, 19 mil, but you can see up the end there how we've loosened that off so far that it's now about to hit the hull. Um, and then this one where I've got my hand on it is also loosened off, so I should be able to pull them down, this one down more. We might just have to lift. Whoop, you're off, you're off, mate. So yeah, just a bit of, um, sort of suck it and see kind of stuff here. We're just seeing if we can sort of unthread the last of these. Up here. Yep, that feels like it's coming down. Well, that's good. So the only drama now is this top one there where it's touching up there. Hopefully we can do something with that. So 
Neil's got the four stay, which is the middle of these three. You can see it's missing now, it's just got a plate there. So it's out. I'm going to have this out in a second. Happy days. We just got to deal with that front one. I got that, uh, that rear bolt out. Hey, do you reckon um, we'll be able to just sort of lift it off um, that forward one? Because it it's hitting the hull now. I don't think it'll. It's not going to come this way. I have got it like a bottle jack or something we could put under. You know, to give a bit of sort of slow leverage or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll get. I'll come up and we'll have a play. Yeah. Yeah. All right, old mate's doing his best to blow all the dust all over us. But uh, she's off. We just got her off. Bit of work, and that's what you're left with. So your two bolts that run through here, that block there, and then two more. And that one, we had to lift the bowsprit over the pin because we couldn't do it. The pin's too long from below to get knocked out that way. All right, time to see if the other one fits soon. We'll just clean this up first. So it's off, came off reasonably easy. We've still got this little um, safety off the force day. And she's out, yeah, a bunch of bolts, bit fiddly, but she's out and now it's time to uh, reinstall the new one and hope all the holes line up. It's always weird to see them without the bowsprit on them. So this was uh, proving pretty hard to get off. So we're just uh, speed bore all the way around and now chipping it out. It should come off hopefully. Okie doke, so this is the moment of truth where we find out if these holes line up. Two right at the back there and the three across the top. Kranzian's on with um, butyl to secure it back there. And I'll put some more at the front just to make that completely watertight. I've also put butyl around these holes and that should squish down nicely and just to protect the paint on the on this bowsprit on top of these teak blocks we've just put some um, I don't know what it is it's almost like a bit of conveyor belt stuff but that'll just help protect the paintwork we hope so we can only talk about it for so long it's time to put it in position you ready Neil We're ready. all right let's do it there you go guys she's back in the water with her new bowsprit on so i hope if you're putting a new bowsprit on your down easter 38 this video has been able to assist you or if you're putting on a bowsprit on any boat really all the best it's a big project to build one and to fit them but uh i suppose measure twice cut once is the motto and you'll back yourself and you'll get it done I'm pretty proud of our efforts here